And though they do scuffle the shoot at just 42%, 33 beyond the three point line. And Dongo going down the lane, and he will lay it in. The 6'9 freshman. And you're going to see a lot of that today. Sturman, that one almost went beyond midcourt, but he saved it. Shot clock at seven. Reeves, who has made the shot of this first game so far. George has to heave it up there. He hits the three with the shot clock winding down. A little more urgency. Dongo slicing in, will drop in the bucket. Well, that's a tough one for Braden Shrewsbury to have to try to stop, but Ndongo's really good in that little middle pick and roll. You know, that's on the Notre Dame, that's on the Georgia Tech defense to make them uncomfortable. They haven't done that. Until now. Yes, picked off by Ndongo. The rangy freshman. They talk about the fact that when they go to practice every day, you'd never know, you know, that they'd lost seven games in a row at one point. They, geez, and Nathan George starts the second half just as hot as the first. But they went a long time as an independent. Burton trying to penetrate in the lane. Oh, it's blocked by Ndongo. In block shots. And he's able to negotiate a little screen by Jai to get around and knock that ball away. That's a big time block by the freshman. Had to adjust in order. Sturdivant sort of trying to attack. Shot clock down to nine. Long jumper by George. And a foul, too. Clear, and Miles Kelly takes it away. But a great cut to the ball by Nathan George. Now Burton was guarding Coleman, so Coleman comes over to set a screen just to pick up the switch. And another one by George going one-on-one -on -one to put Georgia Tech in front by a point. That fifth foul, two times in a row, he shot right over him.